Hi, Starmer's Stasi are still trawling through riot footage. Doors being kicked in. A top cop bragging, we're coming to get you. Judges hand down custodial remands. Prison sentences to people who have no worthwhile representation in court are reviled and demonized by the entirety of media. And sure, among them were people motivated by racism, maybe even a handful of card-carrying fascists. But the majority are from the lowest, most impoverished echelons of the working class, those who've never had a chance on the day they were born, unlike the judges sending them down, signed up for private education from the moment of conception. Many of the offenders are living and have been confined to the margins of society by this two-tier class system. Whatever glimmer of hope they ever had has been removed, forever criminalised for trivial offences. Now there's batches of 12 to 15 year olds appearing before our ruling class courts, charged with violent disorder and other serious offences. Don't tell me they are hardcore racists and fascists. When I said Stasi, I wasn't only referring to Starmer, his government, the authorities, but also the concerned citizens who in true lockdown style inform on their neighbours and family members, aided with deeply creepy enthusiasm by liberal lefties who've been posting online images of perpetrators, even people standing on the sidelines, urging viewers to identify them, grass them up to employers and police, also ridiculing their appearance, thus revealing their own middle-class prejudices. These liberal lefties are proudly becoming a voluntary arm of the police which is bitterly ironic, almost a touch of karma, because when or if Israel invade Lebanon, thus causing the pro-Palestinian protests themselves to finally kick off, expect these self-same liberal lefties to be shedding tears, bleating and complaining about police brutality, calling Starmer an authoritarian as they start to feel themselves the full force of the law. The bitter, sometimes deserved, ironies of politics and protests and liberal leftism. Bye.